Hi, I'm Tian, a product manager for Appian Engineering, and I'm excited to introduce the new and improved RPA Task Recorder. With our latest release, Appian 22.3, developers can now record their interactions with both browsers and Windows applications, making it even faster and easier to build complex automation. The Task Recorder automatically creates and configures low-code actions based on your interactions with the screen, giving you a working robotic process in just a matter of minutes. To get started, launch the Task Recorder as usual from the Robotic Process Designer. All you need to do is specify a resource and the Task Recorder will open there. To begin recording your interactions, you'll need to first select the application that you want to record by using the Select Application drop-down menu. As you scroll through the options, you'll see a list of browser types and Windows applications that you can launch directly from the recorder. You'll be able to access this list of applications throughout recording, ensuring that you can continue seamlessly without interrupting your flow. When you choose a browser to open, the task recorder automatically creates the appropriate action for you and populates it with the URL that you navigated to. As you interact with the browser, such as clicking a dropdown or retrieving a value to store, a new action is recorded and displayed in the task recorder. Some complex automation use cases require interacting with more than just browser applications, which you can now do in a single recording. Here, I've opened Chrome, navigated to the FDIC site, where I retrieved key bank information like name and address, and save them into variables that I can use later. The next step is to then open a legacy Windows application where I need to input this information. To do this, you just scroll through or use the search bar in the menu dropdown to help you easily locate and switch to your next application. For Windows applications, you won't need to rely on manual development tools to create and configure actions anymore. In this release, with Windows apps, you will be able to capture your interactions with menu items, edit fields, as well as buttons. Simply interact with your application as usual, and the task recorder will create the actions with all the information it needs, such as control types, selectors, and interaction types. Previously, developers had to manually grab this data from third-party development tools, but now it's all provided automatically for you. If the task recorder can't capture your interaction with a certain area of the screen, you'll see a message indicating that the element won't be recorded, so you can configure it yourself in the drag and drop robotic process designer. Once you're done recording, you can name this action group and then exit. The task recorder automatically generates low-code actions for you based on your interactions, saving you time from having to configure them yourself. Now you can then make the small tweaks needed to make your process dynamic, like replacing manually typed values with the variables that you saved information into. When you're ready to execute the robotic process you just built, you will save your changes, then choose a resource to run the process on. As the robotic process starts running, you'll see that it successfully opens and navigates to the browser URL specified then collects information, and then opens the legacy Windows application next to create a new data entry based on the values of the browser, completing the work exactly as you recorded. With these latest changes to the task recorder, building a robotic process has never been easier or faster. As a business analyst, new developer, or experienced developer, using the improved task recorder will give you a great head start on your automation.